Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we are going to be rating not only the cringiest voice lines in Battlefield 2042, but we're also going to be rating the specialists in general. Uh, as you can see here, we have six categories. We have cringe and should feel bad all the way up to S tier. And we're going to be going through each and every one of these specialists and then switching over to rank the voice lines in a separate one I have set up. So, if you like this video, hit the like button. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. Let me know in the comment section. Do you want to see more videos like this? I might do a map tier list video. And uh, that video should be, well, uh, it should be, we'll wait to see when I make it. So, right off the bat, we're just going to go in order of the specialists listed here. So, Angel. Angel, right off the bat. S tier specialist. He's, he's insanely broken in the game's meta right now. He has unlimited armor, unlimited ammo. The fact that his gadget allows him to replenish himself with ammo and armor allows him to equip his second gadget with heals. He, he's one of the most versatile characters in the entire game because he can switch whatever loadout he wants to whenever he wants. Angel is an S tier specialist. Now his voice lines, we'll get into that. A little later. Uh, Sundance. Sundance, I would put... I would put Sundance in the high B to low A tier category. She's kind of a very specific specialist to bring out. You don't really use Sundance on infantry maps without height. She's very, very good at crossing, like, you know, very long distances with height that you can jump off of and use. She's very versatile when it comes to her grenade ordnance and stuff like that. Uh, spawn beacon placing, all that type of thing. I think Sundance is a low A tier, high B tier specialist. We'll keep her in low A tier for now. Dozier. Dozier is a D tier specialist. He's D tier. I, I find his explosive resistance passive to be more useful than his actual shield. Um, he just doesn't bring much to the table at all. And I, I don't think anyone would really disagree with that. Uh, McKay, S tier specialist. S tier above Angel in my opinion. McKay is the ultimate mobility character in this game. He offers things that other characters quite simply cannot do. Faster movement while in gunfights. Grapple hook ability. The ability to close distance extremely quickly without height. He's extremely deadly. I think he's the best specialist in the entire game. And uh, yeah, that's really not, there's really not much to go over there. Irish. Where am I going to put Irish? I think Irish's walls present an interesting gameplay situation like he can provide cover where characters other than him cannot provide cover he also spawns with armor and he replenishes armor off of uh, ammo packs on the ground from fallen enemies i'm gonna put him in b tier for now i think he offers enough to where he is good to play i don't think he's as good as the other specialists above him though uh boris cringe and should feel bad tier I don't even, I don't even need, really need to go over why, but since this is a video, I will go over why. Boris encapsulates everything that you should really not have in a specialist. Boris players are just very strange. It cultivates an extremely bad meta in the game. Camping next to a turret in a corner. Relying on a wall hack from your turret to actually know what's going on. It really does detriment gameplay. And uh, he's in cringe and should feel bad tier. And I'm not going to argue about it. So there it is. Casper. Casper, I'm debating D or C tier. I think he's more useful than Dozer with his drone at the moment. Uh, we'll keep him in C tier for now. His passive ability that allows him to actually feel or sense if people are around him could be good if you're more of a, you know, inter intermediate player that is kind of struggling with awareness. It could give you that anticipation you need to, in to win the gunfight. And his drone actually does help your team out quite a bit. So I'll keep him in maybe high C, low B. We'll see if I move anything around here. Mr. Rao. So Rao. Rao is an interesting specialist because I think if you're talking about a specialist, specialist role, right? Rao actually serves a pretty interesting role within the specialists he's probably the one of the best anti-air specialists in the entire game if you hack an air vehicle and then carry a stinger missile i mean that's one of the deadliest combos in the entire game but is it good enough to put him in b or c tier because i don't really think rao brings much else to the table 
I'm gonna put him below Casper. But if we're talking about anti-air, I think Rao is S tier for anti-air in my opinion. Are there anything else? I don't really see him. I, I put it this way. I don't think I've killed a single person with Rao. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't know. Um, Pike. Pike, believe it or not, in my opinion, Pike's wall hack ability is actually worse than Boris's turret because Boris's turret is Pike's wall hack, but constantly running and it can detect people from longer distances and it shoots them. So Pike is actually not as good as I thought she would be. In my opinion, though, she is still better than Casper and Rao for infantry. Definitely better than Dozer. I don't think she's as good as Irish, though. I think I would prefer Irish's passive over her active ability for the wall hack. Because I already have my own wall hacks, right, guys? <laughs> uh, Reddit would think so. I'm going to put her maybe tied with Irish. Last but not least... Maria Falk. Maria Falk is... I don't know if I should put her in S tier. She's... I think she's better than Sundance, in my opinion. Because... Because of her passive ability to, to always basically have a self-heal available with the syringe gun. You can carry armor plates. You can carry whatever else you need. I think that provides just slightly more utility than Sundance. But I think Sundance is absolutely more useful for situations where you need to get around the map faster. Um... I believe Maria is also the only specialist in the entire game that revives people to full health. So I'm going to put her in A tier. We'll say she's tied with Sundance. There are two different specialists, two different things going on there. So this is where I put the specialists in terms of their usability in game. Now we're going to talk about how cringe their voice lines are. So let's jump over there real quick. All right, so we're over here in this specially handcrafted tier list that I basically just edited and made right now. So here's the thing, in my opinion, the highest score you can give a voice line in this game is cringe tier. That's it, right? Because there are no voice lines in this game where I hear them, I'm like, oh, that's, that guy means some fucking business. Like, you know, I mean, the highest score is cringe tier. The lowest score is angel tier. So we'll just get that out of the way right now. Angel tier, do I even need to talk about it, right? I, I don't think I do. You all know why. Sundance. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. We'll put her in hyper cringe tier. She's not like... She has some weird stuff she says where she's like, I told you so, something like that. I don't know. It's... I don't know. Dozer. I think Dozer is... is relatively acceptable. He doesn't really say much. You know, he's kind of the masked, gigantic, heavy armor, tough guy. I think he plays it pretty well. I think he says something about like killing people. That's pretty hard. Put him in cringe tier, the highest tier possible. McKay, how did someone write this tier? You know, like, you didn't climb my, you did not climb Mount Everest, okay? Spe specifically, not while on five cups of coffee, right? You just didn't do it, right? So how did you write that even tier for, for McKay? Uh, Irish, we'll put Irish in cringe tier along with, along with Dozier. I feel like Irish and Dozier... They don't really have much going against them. It's just like, why is the quip scream at the end of the game even in the game in the first place? Do you know what I mean? You know, they're not exactly egregiously awful. I and mean, honestly, as, as much as I don't want to admit this, Boris, I might have to put Boris in cringe tier as well. Because Boris, while he is the most disgustingly annoying and parasitic specialist in the entire game. He doesn't really have any voice lines that make me want to jump out of the window, really. But just because he's Boris, I'm putting him with Sundance. Um, Casper. No one plays Casper, so I'm going to leave him unchecked. I don't even know what Casper says. So, yeah. Uh, Rao. Rao's kind of like that guy that you meet at like an internet cafe and he doesn't really know he's socially awkward so he just says some weird shit so we're putting him in mega cringe tier i don't know i get, get a grip right pike sorry about that my recording died uh, let's go over pike 
this again because I just did it, but here we go. So we, we determined that Casper and no one plays him, so I don't even know what he talks about. Pike says really weird shit like, oh my god, guys, we're, I'm so proud of you, and oh, we did it, and oh, oh, oh wow, we're, we're so good, and, and mega cringe. We're, we're putting mega cringe here. Uh, and last but not least, Battlefield's favorite grandmother, Maria Falk. She's not as, like, offensively hyper cringe as Sundance and Boris, but I think we're just going to put her tied there because I don't think he can justify saying that she's as intimidating or, like, straightforward as Dozier and Irish. So that's how I'd rate Battlefield 2042 Specialist and their respective voice lines. Hey, I'll link the tier list in the description. You guys do your tier list. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to comment down below, like the video, and hit the subscribe button for more content. I probably might do a map tier list montage on the way soon. Not soon, soon, but I just want to let you guys know that it is in development. Uh, quality takes time, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next one. Again, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys later.